So to write the net ionic equation for Mg plus AgNO3 magnesium plus silver nitrate, let's first see if this reaction is even going to happen. This is a single displacement reaction. So we'd expect the magnesium would come in and push the silver out so the silver's by itself then the magnesium's bonded to the nitrate, which we see right here. But is silver reactive enough to do that? We can look on this activity series of metals here and we can see. So here's our list. Here's magnesium more towards the top, very reactive, and then silver's down at the bottom. So the magnesium, that's reactive enough to push the silver out. So this reaction will happen. So to write the net ionic equation for Mg plus AgNO3, first thing we do is we balance the molecular equation. It looks like we need to have two here to balance the nitrates and then two here to have the silvers balanced. Looks good. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each compound. Magnesium by itself, that's a solid. Silver nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. So we're gonna put an Ag for that. Aqueous, it's dissolved in water. On the products, silver, that's a solid. And then magnesium nitrate, again, nitrate's very soluble. Put a little aqueous, and that means it's gonna dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So anything with that aqueous, we're gonna split apart. Magnesium, that's a solid. We don't split that apart. It's only one thing anyway. And then silver nitrate. Then silver, silver is kind of an interesting one. It is a transition metal, but it's always going to be one plus. It's kind of an exception. So we know that the silver is going to have that positive charge. And then nitrate, that's going to be negative. You could look that up as well. The nitrate always has that negative charge. So let's split them up. We have that Ag, that silver ion, with the plus, we have two of those. Plus, we have the nitrate, that NO3 minus ion, and we have two of those. This two applies to everything. So I won't write aqueous until the end. So let's just say that that, those are the reactants. For the products, again, we don't split up solids, AG solid. And then magnesium on the periodic table, if you look that up, that's two plus the nitrate we said was negative. So we'll have Mg2 plus, plus the nitrate, NO3 minus. But do be careful, this little subscript here means that we have two of these nitrates. So we're going to put a two in front of that. This is what we call the complete ionic equation. So now what we can do is cross out what are called spectator ions. They appear on both sides of the equation. So we have the reactants and the products. We have Ag plus here. No. We have NO3 minus, we have two of those. We could cross those out, but everything else is unique. This Ag plus, that's very different than AgS. And this magnesium solid, that's very different than this magnesium ion, which would be aqueous. So let me clean this up and we'll have our net ionic equation, which will be the Mg plus the silver ions, gives us a silver solid plus the magnesium ion. So I'll clean this up and we'll have our final net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for magnesium plus silver nitrate, Mg plus AgNO3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.